A few weeks ago, I made a video about YouTuber Sniper Wolf and how she's profited off the works of thousands of other creators by reacting to them in the laziest way possible. And on my other channel, Judge of Jack's Films, we've gone much, much deeper into just how empty her commentary is. In fact, she's gotten so predictable that Twitter user Piosaurus3 made us a bingo card out of Sniper Wolfisms, and we just kind of ran with it. No! Shaky cam? Oh, your boy's got shaky cam. What's wrong with you? Stop yelling. It's kind of unnecessary. Got their car, their neighbor's car. Oh, all right. Summarizing, sound effect. That's a take on the electric Porsche. Yes, Mr. Beast caption. <laughs> but during these past few weeks, we accidentally uncovered some shady things Miss oh, Wolf has Oxy. done and done recently. So here are the top three most unchill things Sniper Wolf has done over the last month. And yes, they do get progressively worse. Number three. So this one is fiendishly <laughs> devious. I was hosting a round of Sniper Wolf Bingo when YouTuber The Act Man popped in the chat and said, hey, you might want to check out this video I just tweeted. So I go check it out, and it's from a recent Sniper Wolf video where she plays a clip and reacts to it. Bro just flew into the hoop. And then 20 seconds later, plays the exact same clip with her exact same reaction. Bro just flew into the hoop. Literally a copy and paste job. And I don't think it's an editing error, because as the act man suggests, it's probably to hit that sweet, juicy eight minute length for mid rolls. Each one of those clips is 20 seconds long, and if you were to remove either one, the total length of the video would fall just shy of 8 minutes. If you want to check out The Act Man, I've linked his channel in the description below. Hey, just a reminder, uh, this list gets worse. Dun -dun. This next one is pretty spicy. During another bingo stream, we come across Sniper Wolf reacting to a TikTok of someone surveying damage done to a car. In the TikTok, you hear the narrator say, This hit my shit with Thor's hammer. And then Sniper Wolf responds with, She hit it with a Hadouken. <laughs> now at first, I didn't think anything of it. A little Street Fighter joke? Hey, that's not bad. But then someone in the Twitch chat wrote this. Hey, what? She cut out the end and tried to use a line as her own. The guy in the video said, Wait, what? The guy in the video said she hit me with a Hadouken? No, she didn't. We have to screen the TikTok. This bitch hit my shit with Thor's hammer. This bitch hit my shit with a Hadouken. Oh, hey. Dude, she is so girl boss, dude. She doesn't give a fuck, okay? She is like XQC, but if XQC was hot. She's like, you know what? I literally, I don't care. I'm gonna game every system. I'm gonna steal every bit of content. Sue me. Do it, bitch. You know, and I got to say, that's fucking gatekeep, girl boss, gaslight. Okay. You know, is it wrong? Yes. Is it very funny? Also, yes. Also, yes. At least XUC gives us rants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> this hit my shit with Thor's hammer. She hit it with a Hadoop. <sighs> I caught you red handed. <laughs> That's right. Sniper Wolf doesn't just steal TikToks, she steals their jokes too. And keep in mind, this is only one example we caught. I had the help of the whole Twitch chat to sleuth this one out. God only knows how many more times Sniper Wolf has done this exact thing. Pretty gross. Now, before I unveil number one, and trust me, it's a doozy, I have some honorable mentions I'd like to share. Yes, the crimes of Sniper Wolf are so numerous that I have a list of misdemeanors worth mentioning. For example, take a look at this frame. And yes, my nine-year-old watches Sniper Wolf. It's basically just AFV uh, content. Exactly. 100% exactly. From a recent video. What do you notice about it? That's right. She is blocking the username with her face cam. Very cool. A conscious decision to deny the original uploader any and all credit. Here's another this, dishonorable. I'm going to be honest. This shit actually makes me so angry when it happens on Twitter. The number of times where this occurs on Twitter fucking makes me so angry. People will repost um, either a video or they will repost like a screenshot, but they cut it so that you can't see the user who posted it. And it's the most annoying shit in the... I, 
Ugh. You know? I'll mention. In a recent video, Sniper Wolf reacts to a McDonald's Karen, but this isn't the first time she's reacted to this clip. Hell, it's not even the second time. This is at least the third time she's reacted to the same Karen clip across three separate videos. And the weird thing is, her reactions are different for each one. She doesn't copy and paste her reactions like she did for the basketball clip, but she acts as though she's watching it for the first time every time. Now either she's acting, or, this might be worse, she genuinely doesn't remember watching the clip. Either way, the outcome's bad. Okay, okay last but this is what I mean. Like, she's such a conniving little girl boss. Oh my god. This is, what, what alignment, what D&D &D alignment is this? This has to be, like... Neutral evil? Chaotic evil? <laughs> I feel like it's it's either neutral evil or chaotic evil. It's definitely not lawful. <laughs> definitely not lawful. But it's like, how do I milk this system? How do I steal as much as I can, as effectively as I can? Baldur's Gate with the charlatan setup? 100 percent 1 million percent because i know i would be pissed if i made a tiktok or i made like a very popular video or some shit and it was it got the sniper wolf treatment <laughs> you know but man does she have this shit on lock dude she has it on lock it's honorable mention in this video there is a 40 second block where Sniper Wolf doesn't say a word while the TikTok plays. From 5 minutes and 5 seconds to 5 minutes and 45 seconds. That's two thirds of a whole minute for all you fraction heads out there. Honestly, try this. Count out 40 seconds on your phone's stopwatch app or a clock or a watch, whatever you have. And imagine, for that length of time, a reactor not reacting. It's not the worst thing she's done, but it is pretty funny. Mayhap's very funny. We're not even at 20 seconds. <laughs> you know what? I gotta say something. Listen, I gotta say something. Personally, I don't know if his name is also Jack. I actually have no idea. Please do not report me to the authorities. I'm just gonna assume that his name is actually Jack. Because when I found out that Big Joel's name was not Joel, my world was shattered, and now I can never trust another YouTuber again. Okay. First of all, Jack, you shouldn't have included that in your video. Because how dare you have one of these shitty fucking flip phones. Not the, not the cool Samsung, Motorola flip phones. <laughs> one of the ones that has that fucking screen that cracks. And, like, then you get a bunch of, like, broken plastic glass in the middle. Like, because uh, there's only one, there's one of two things happening. A, he bought it for the bit, which I am judging. Okay. Or B, that's his phone. <laughs> that is, and I feel bad saying this because Jack is super cool in real life. Super nice. One of the most normal content creators you will meet genuinely and i feel bad going after him but it has to be said and i'm gonna fucking say it i'm sorry i'm gonna say it all right someone needs to be honest to you and if it has to be me i will take that hit okay if you hate me forever that's okay what matters is that someone finally said it mayhaps very funny we're not even at 20 seconds all right, just a warning, this final one might make you angry because it sure made me angry. So there I was hosting yet another Bubba Bingo stream when all of a sudden I'm surprised. <laughs> okay, the funniest part of the, I'm sorry. <laughs> the funniest part of every, everything that Jack has done in the Sniper Wolf segment or arc or whatever is adding two letters to the front of every single word. <laughs> <laughs> JJ Jack films, Bubba Bingo. <laughs> Very good idea. Very good idea. 
surprised with this. They're entertaining. Where did S -S Sniper Wolf go? Why isn't she taking up two thirds of the frame like she always does? You know, so we could see her insightful commentary and her epic reactions. So we continue watching the TikTok by popular creator Tony Statovsky. Link below if you want to watch more of their stuff. And we're all trying to predict what Sniper Wolf will say, how she'll react, etc. Here's my real time reaction to what happens next. And so these kids are. And now <laughs> there are two problems. There are two problems, chat. One, I'm not excusing streamers for stealing content. This needs to be very clear. But at least when a streamer does it, it's because they're walking off to go get water or food or to go pee after hours of streaming. If you are making a YouTube reaction video and you're just straight putting the clip and nothing is being added at all, like it's just this, this is so unacceptable. This is unbelievably unacceptable. Unbelievably. Oh my God. And second of all, second of all, I totally didn't forget what I was going to say. And I'm currently trying to remember that would never happen ever. Because I never forget what I say. She's limit testing. <laughs> Remember, Denims. Okay, I'm doing the thing. This is why I think she's an artist. The art form is a reaction. First rule of making art is the is knowing the rules. Second rule of making art is breaking those conventions. She's an artist. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's min maxing life, dude. Working smarter, not harder. Uh. God. First of all, it looks like this is another attempt to get to the eight minute mark. By the way. Second of all, I had something else I was going to say, and I've lost it, but that's okay. We'll press play. Here's my real-time reaction to what happens next. And so these kids are... <laughs> oh. Ma'am, I think you forgot something. You have to live for... And so these kids... That's right, everyone. She forgot to react. She played someone else's TikTok in its entirety, but didn't provide an ounce of commentary. Now, call me crazy, but I don't think that falls under fair use. That's just... I remember what I was going to say. I saw people talking about... I remember. Yes! I'm so big brain. Um, th some people in chat were saying, well, isn't that just what a uh, daily dose of internet does? in reference to just playing other people's clips, there is a very big difference, okay? Very big difference. Um, Daily Dose of Internet pays the people whose content he puts in. He pays for the licensing fee. He literally says he has an agency or directly reaches out to the people who make these clips and pays them money. Like, hey, how does 100 bucks sound for this five-second video? How does 200 bucks sound for this five second video, you know what I mean? And if people are like, nope, I'm not giving it to you, then he doesn't use the video. Or if people are like, um, yeah, I'm gonna need a thousand dollars or some shit. It's like, or like it's some absurd amount of money. I actually don't know how much he pays people. I have no idea. But let's say he's like, someone says like $10,000 for this video. Okay, then I just won't put the video in my, in my content, that's fine. Um, so I just saw people saying like, well, other people still content and do this. I just want to clarify if I ever can clarify stuff I want to. Does he? That sounds nice. First time I've seen or heard him. Yeah, no. Everything, every single video uh, that is in a Daily Dose video is licensed. Every single video is the creators have been paid. They were reached out to. And they got offered something and they accepted the offer. So... Uh, it's pennies compared to what he actually makes. It's that he licenses it through companies that buy a viral clips and predatory. Not not all of them are predatory. Also, like as someone who has seen firsthand people selling clips, um, it's it's not like you don't make money off of clips on the internet. 
Like if you get like one very viral thing, you don't make any money off of it. Very good example is, in my opinion, very good example. There's that one Frogan video where uh, Theo bites her lashes off. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? If if anyone knows, I would I would really appreciate it. I would really appreciate it. That is an example of like a viral clip. It got so many likes and posts and whatever. But she didn't like Froga didn't make any money off of it. You know? It did it, Cuz that's how Twitter works. You get a 250,000 like post Congrats, you've made 11 cents, <laughs> you know? And so if you could sell this, it's just free money. It's like, hey, do you want, can I use this clip for 500 bucks? Yeah, okay, cool. And most of the people don't care about it, right? Because it's like, yeah, you can use this. Sure. I'm, I'm not going to make any money off of this anyways. Yeah, sure, I'm, I'm happy to take the, I'm learning so much today. I mean, and I mean, just thinking, think about it for yourself, right? Like, or, or, let's take what's going on. We gotta watch this. <laughs> Wait, I think the site is muted. Wait. <laughs> you can see him sniffing. Sniff, sniff, sniffa. <laughs> but but that's my my point is basically that no it's not gruesome at all it was not gruesome it was very careful um but yeah it's, it would be like someone rolling up and asking chad if they'll accept 500 dollars to sit in their chair and watch twitch for a while yeah it's it's not it's like it's a very it's very fair rates and the cool thing is if you think uh, this media company or a streamer or YouTuber or whatever is, is underpaying you for your content, you can just say no. You know what I mean? Um, but anyways, okay, we'll put, we'll put, we'll, there's only a minute left in this video, like two minutes. Use. Look, maybe I'm being too harsh here. This could be an editing error where they forgot to splice in Sniper Wolf's reaction. Except she does the exact same thing the next day. And in a video five months ago, she opens with another person's TikTok. In all three of these cases, and who knows how many more, she doesn't react, doesn't even provide a face cam. She's using people's TikToks as bumpers for her own little variety show. To me, this is pretty damning evidence that people don't watch Sniper Wolf's channel for her, they watch it for the TikToks. I mean, look at this thumbnail. She didn't even react to that one, but she knows people will click on it. So once again, I ask YouTube, are you sure you're okay with this? Are you absolutely sure? Hey, I get that she generates a lot of revenue for you, but this does not look good for your brand. One of your most successful creators cheats and steals repeatedly. She does not create anything. She does not do anything. And I can't really call her a reactor because sometimes she doesn't even react. I want to thank other channels who've recently cast a spotlight on this problem, like Oompaville and Tamimi and The Judge 12. It's so encouraging to see other creators talk about this, especially those who have fallen victim to Sniper Wolf's thievery. In case you can't tell, this is a topic I'm extremely passionate about. I've been fighting this kind of activity since before Sniper Wolf even had a YouTube channel. And once again, I say, shout out to the people that actually make stuff. And credit... Yeah. Okay, Chad is being very weird on a variety of fronts, so we're reeling this in immediately, okay? All right, we're reeling this in. First of all, first of all, I watch a lot of reactors, including SS Sniper Wolf, and there are so many more cringe creators than her. Try making it through a Courage JD video. At least she doesn't include a clip of a random sexy girl just to include it in the thumbnail. I don't know why she has become the face of lazy reactors. Her generic commentary is still 10 times better than what XQC does. I don't know why we're comparing things right now. I don't understand why we're comparing things. This is so silly. This, this, okay. 
my personal opinion, when you engage in this type of behavior, the only thing I can think about is the type of people who say, why are you fighting for more rights? You know, in Saudi Arabia, women can't leave without their husbands. Just because other people are worse doesn't mean we can't recognize, hey, you're engaging in bad behavior. I do think, to be clear, by virtue of her being a woman, I do think that she gets more hatred online, which is annoying, you know? It's kind of cringe, kind of annoying. And that's unfair. And I think we can call out that. We can say that there are people who do worse things than her, and it, it sucks that she's the face of it. You know what I mean? Um, but that should be your statement. Like, it shouldn't be you saying, like, honestly, what she does isn't that bad. Or, like, you know, there are people who do way worse stuff. But you can recognize that there is definitely miso misogyny occurring. There always is misogyny occurring. I am going to put you in timeout for this message. Uh, stop it. Stop. Don't be annoying. Don't be annoying. It's not difficult. Stop it. Stop. Stop. I, I don't like it when people start randomly berating other people in chat for no reason. It's cringe. Stop.